Hi guys, uh, I'm an engineering student from India, so you have to clap for that. I traveled a long way to attend this cool conference here. I wanted to be among awesome people. So, uh, uh, flashbang, what is it? It's a flash grenade, you stun people, you throw it, you play shooter games, right? Uh, so, in web application security, one of the weak points uh, when you try to analyze are flash files. Uh, if they are not properly coded, let's say. Uh, but uh, till now, what was the general procedure we used? Were, uh, either you decompile uh, the flash file to get the source code and you then analyze it statically, or you have few tools uh, which do the same thing automatically, like uh, they decompile it for you and then they analyze and they uh, show you some red flags. Okay, so what is this? This is a project uh, which tries to cover almost uh, many, many aspects of testing a flash file for a cross site scripting vulnerability. So uh, yeah, uh, you don't need to have knowledge of anything, you just uh, need to put in the flash file uh, into the flash bang, it will uh, do the magic for you. Uh, the weird part is this is written in JavaScript. Uh, we'll come to that why it is written in JavaScript. First of all, can you all please raise your right hand once? Quick, quick, I have only five minutes, please. Oh, so you are understanding what I speak, right? Guarantee. People don't understand Indians easily. So, <laughs> I am an Indian, so the second name might not be mine. So, th that is me. You must be knowing Mario. Uh, Flashbang is built upon a Mozilla technology called Shumway. Shumway is quite famous. Uh, most of the people run flash files on their browser using Adobe plugin. Uh, but this is an alternative, actually, which Mozilla started. It's an open source project. So, they built a VM using... Uh, HTML5 technology and JavaScript, which allows you to run flash files, uh, which is open source. So what uh, the idea of Flashbang actually is really creative. Like, you have a tool, you have something which runs a flash file. Uh, what is the best way you can uh, use it? Uh, just place hooks at the right point in the player and extract the information you need. That is uh, really effective. So. Uh, Flashbang was built on top of Shumway, so we use the Shumway virtual machine uh, and load the flash file into it and then uh, get the information which we require. Uh, yeah, and since Shumway works both for ActionScript 2 and ActionScript 3, uh, Flashbang works for both as well. So, but why is Flashbang effective? Why, uh, uh, like, what is that that other flash analysis tools or scripts do not provide? Uh, Flashbang does uh, detections in two types. One is uh, static level detection, another is runtime level detection. Well, static level detection is somewhat similar to what I already told you. You just uh, like decompile the source code and you analyze it, which is one thing. Well, the runtime uh, detection is a bit different. Like, there are uh, uh, flash variable names which get calculated on the fly uh, when, this, when the flash file actually runs. So when you statically try to analyze it, you really don't uh, understand. I mean, you really don't get uh, how uh, the flash file name. So static analysis fails uh, in those scenarios. So you need runtime analysis for that. And uh, uh, in order to improve the code coverage as well, uh, uh, we have already simulated user, uh, user events which is necessary. Like for example, in some cases, an event uh, like, uh, Suppose a vulnerable call is triggered only on, on uh, the click of a user or uh, when he types some alphabet. So you, you need to simulate those events to get the maximum coverage uh, while testing something. So this is also really important and this has been made possible only because of Shumway because uh, it runs in the browser so it is easy to generate events. Yeah, uh, as of now we have uh, this. Uh, capability to detect eval sync call. So uh, eval is a type of call which is, which uh, if used in a wrong way can lead to a uh, cross site scripting vulnerability. So this is the UI actually, uh, which is quite simple. It's not uh, since it is completely written in JS, nothing gets uploaded. Not, uh, you just open the file, uh, and then everything runs in your browser itself. You don't uh, have to upload anything or any such stuff. So once you select a flash file in here you will get the analysis something like that. It will detect all the flash variables, uh, the detected sync calls. You can uh, rerun the analysis multiple times. So yeah, the, uh, this is uh, the log which, uh, you know, uh, it prints all the information like what's happening in the background. 
so yeah this is really important like uh, this tool is really good uh, and if you want to support it you can do multiple things like uh, you know submit issues open bugs or uh, yeah you, uh, these are the links if you want to contribute and yeah you can meet me if you want to watch a cool demo of this tool in working